The Leonids, one of the most prolific annual meteor showers, will be streaking across UK skies in the early hours of Saturday and Sunday. Characterised by fast, bright meteors, the best time to see it at its peak is apparently between midnight and dawn. So, let's ask Chris Fawkes whether we're going to see any of it. <laughs> Chris, <Positive>. no pressure. <laughs> yeah, for many people looking up at the skies tonight, you're more likely to get a wet face than you are to uh, see the meteor shower. Yeah, it's not looking ideal tonight, as we'll see in the forecast. Well, today is a beautiful day, though. Plenty of blue skies out and about, and a day to really enjoy some of the gorgeous autumnal colours that we have up and down the country. The weekend, this area of low pressure dominates, bringing wet and windy weather our way. The southwesterly winds will also be bringing some pretty mild air, so temperatures will be a lot higher over the weekend than they are this afternoon, for example. And in terms of the amount of rain we're expecting tomorrow, well, we'll get around 15 to 30 millimetres across southwest England. It's not a huge amount, but it's across the southwest that we've already seen well over the November average rainfall. And so that extra rain could be enough to bring some localised surface water flooding impacts. Still quite mild, 12 to 14 degrees. Into next week, we'll still have dregs of rain left over for Monday, then a quieter spell of weather. All the while, it looks quite windy. Rain never far away from Scotland and Northern Ireland. However, as we get into the following weekend, there are just hints that the weather could be turning a little bit colder, maybe cold enough for a bit of snow across Northern Scotland. Still quite a bit of uncertainty, but you might see some snowfall over the mountains in Scotland into next weekend. Mm. Jane. Hello, good afternoon. Well, it's been a lovely day so far. Plenty in the way of fine, dry weather. Lots of blue sky and sunshine, as captured here by one of our weather watchers. And by the afternoon, becoming drier with the cloud breaking to allow some sunny spells. But it will remain windy and temperatures 14, 15 Celsius. Now, it continues to be windy Saturday night and into Sunday as well. There will be some showers around, but it's an improving story for Sunday. There'll be more in the way of drier, brighter weather with some sunny spells to end the day. And looking ahead to the start of next week, while well, becoming cooler once again. Hello, good evening. We saw some sunshine today, but sadly it's all a bit too brief because tonight rain heads our way, turning into an unsettled weekend, some windy conditions at times, and yes, outbreaks of rain. As we push into tomorrow evening, we should see some starry skies, at least at times as we head through the night. So hopefully decent conditions for viewing the Leonid's meteor shower. It peaks tomorrow. Tonight, obviously, not good conditions for viewing, but tomorrow night, better conditions. You could see in the region of 10 to 15 metres an hour. Then into Sunday, well, as I say, still tightly packed isobars, still that low pressure in charge for a blustery day. A number of showers still showery on Monday, but some improvements after that. Take care. Hi there, Rita. Well, if you've been fundraising in Scotland today, I hope you've been wearing that pudsy suit. You probably needed it. It's been cold, foggy as well. Some areas have just scraped above freezing. A pretty miserable day. But for many, it's been glorious. A lovely autumn afternoon with some sunshine coming through. And I really hope you've made the most of it because it's all change as we head into the weekend. Great weather for fundraising. Um, even if you were sitting in a bar for baked beans, I suspect you would have enjoyed it today. Absolutely blue beautiful wasn't it unfortunately will it last into the weekend no it won't this is the start saturday could be a pretty wet start in the capital slowly brightening up as the weekend progresses so now i've got a glimmer of good news high pressure is going to build and if you want dry settled weather i can finally offer you some as we move into next week it's going to take its time to move in and it won't affect all of us but certainly for the london area we are likely to see the best of the weather so some showers to clear through Sunday and Monday, but look at this, Wednesday through to Sunday, dry, settled and sunny, but it comes as a price cooler by day and by night. Hello again. Well, it's been a lovely sunny day across the vast majority of the country with blue skies, some wonderful autumn colours at the moment, but our weather won't be looking like this as we head into the weekend. Becky's in Suffolk for us tonight and um, some of us are going to be treated to a spectacular meteor shower this weekend, aren't we? Yes, that's absolutely right. Welcome to my house. Just a little bijou place. <laughs> Welcome to Helmingham Hall here near Ipswich in Suffolk. It is exquisite and even more so because at the moment they've got their illuminated light trail on. It's a grade one listed moated manor house, more than 
500 years old and is looking even more gorgeous tonight and for the next few weeks with, as I say, the festive illuminated garden trail. It's taken the team over eight weeks to create the trail, which is over a mile long, all fortified, of course, by a steaming cup of mulled wine. And this breathtaking event is on until the 17th of December. It's well worth a visit. But the lights here are not the only glorious thing to be looking at, uh, particularly this weekend. We've also got the Leonid meteors as well. Now, they are shown once every 33 years and they've been appearing throughout November but their activity actually peaks tonight and tomorrow night with up to 10 shooting stars every hour which makes them the most prolific meteor shower of the year and they can actually be seen with the naked eye if the conditions allow which tonight for many of the UK if we have a look at the radar sequence will not be the case because we've got a very active rain, bar, rain band which is going to be moving eastwards across the UK overnight tonight and taking it's time to clear away through tomorrow so it's a bit soggy let's have a look at the detail so I'm afraid it is not looking to be a particularly cheerful start to the weekend. It is wet and windy as we start Saturday as that rain band that moves in tonight takes its time to clear away. By the time we get to Sunday, it's a rather cloudy sort of story with blustery showers. But I suppose perhaps on the plus note, it is going to be less cold over the next couple of days. So it's definitely going to be a little bit less cold over the weekend. But then next week, there are some early signs that towards the end of the next week, it's cold. All right, thanks very much.